Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Collins Prepper with a video about a radio I accidentally discovered while doing research online about the General Mobile Radio Service or GMRS. This is a Midland Micro Mobile GMRS only 5 watt mobile radio. The radio comes with a mounting tray or bracket, a cigarette lighter adapter which I put an Anderson power pole connector on so I can use it in the car and connect it to the base station power supply here. A manual that's very easy to read a microphone clip, an external antenna with a standard PL259 connector. On the rear of the radio you have standard connectors. You have an SO239 connector here for the external antenna, an external speaker jack, and a DC plug or DC in connector there. On the face of the radio you have all your controls. On the top you have a really nice speaker. The audio quality is very good even for a guy like me who wears hearing aids. I like the mounting bracket or the mounting tray. It has rails on the side with two retainer clips. So you can mount this bracket someplace, slide the radio in, it locks in. And if you need to take the radio with you, you just hit the clips on the side and the radio slides right out. It's a 5 watt radio, but it has a low power setting for 1 watt. It has channels 1 through 7, then it skips to channel 15 through 22. So there's no family radio service on this radio. And that's what's unique about this radio. Because there's no FRS frequencies in here, you can have that external antenna and really improve your communications, the performance of your system. So I think this is a really neat radio. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to take it out to the retreat location and mount it on the ATV. I think this has a lot of application for emergency preparedness and emergency communication, especially for those folks who don't want to get an amateur radio license. This radio could be a really good option. It gives you full power out 5 watts and that's one of the things I really don't like about the GMRS product lines is they never tell you what the power out is especially when they mix it with FRS they just give you the distances and miles and that doesn't tell me anything at least with this radio I know it's 5 watts out because I've actually connected it to the watt meter and a dummy load and confirmed on high power it's 5 watts and on low power it's 1 watt so I'm gonna go ahead and set this up hook it up to the power supply and we'll actually show you the power out and show you this radio turned on we have the Midland Micro Mobile set up here with the watt meter. The watt meter is running into a dummy load, so we don't have this hooked up to an antenna, so we're not radiating out in free space. I have this AA battery here to give you some perspective on the size of this unit. It's not big at all. It's about the size of an iPhone, maybe a little bit thicker than an iPhone. It's not very heavy at all, and you still get the full 5 watts. I got the meter here set to the 10 watt scale. Going to a dummy load, this side is going to show us our forward power. With my dummy load, I'm getting a little reflected power, but you can see it's going to be right about here at a full 5 watts. So I'll go ahead and hit the push to talk, and there you have it, 5 watts out. I'm going to go ahead and set the radio to low power now and show you that it puts out 1 watt on low power. Okay, so I changed the power setting. The radio is now set for 1 watt. We change the scale here to the 1 watt, so this deflection here will show 1 watt. It actually goes to 1.5 watts, so it should come up right about here where the 8 is. And I'll go ahead and hit the push to talk. And that's 1 watt out on low power. So this is a really cool radio. I'm pretty excited about this. Like I said, I'm going to put this on the ATV. I think the size is great. I paid $127 for this on Amazon. There's some other websites that sell for around $150. But if you look at Amazon, you can find it for less. For those folks who don't want to get an amateur radio license and are looking for a higher quality radio for emergency communications, I think this radio might be the one you're looking for. I'm pretty excited about it. So far, I'm very impressed with it. I really like the bracket that comes with it with the clips on the side so it slides in and out. I like that it has an external antenna. I can use different antennas. I can set up a base station antenna. I like that it has a cigarette lighter adapter so I can move it from vehicle to vehicle. The only thing with this radio is it is a GMRS radio and you have to get a GRMS license. Now you don't have to take a test for that license. I think it's about $80 for five years. But this is a really neat radio and we'll be seeing more of it on the channel here. I'll go ahead and set up a playlist. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a short video to introduce Midlands Micro Mobile GMRS Base Slash Mobile Radio. Thanks for watching, guys.